back. It's week eight here in season 14. And Oregon, let's check out the stats. They're seventh right now. They got a chance. They've already lost to Utah and Oregon State. So not very much. They've beaten Arizona State and they've beaten Stanford. So they got a kind of two non-conference games in a row and they finish out uh, with four in a row. So they got six games left and they are three and three on the season. So let's see if they can finish these last six games with a winning record. Give them sense a chance to make a bowl. You know, maybe something else happens too if they can get hot. But, you know, they can bite themselves in the foot anytime Eastern Michigan takes their opening drive out for a touchdown. Misses the extra points. That's big. But again, the offense is starting to look good. Norwood, gain of nine on that first reception of the game. And he takes himself. maven has been doing that quite a bit lately. Taking it himself, getting the job done. Brait, nice 12-yard gain across the 50-yard line. They go. And playing soft on Norwood, almost. That's too much of a lead there. The DB is able to recover. So that was a mistake by the quarterback, I think. And then he's able to get scamper for six yards. It's going to be third down and one. And they see it again. Scampers again, four yards. First down they go. The DBs here, Eastern Michigan, getting it done into the first quarter. Got second down and four. The running game with the quarterback is working as of right now. Can't find the open man. And might as well not push it. Gain of two, 20-yard line. Second down and eight. Trying to find somebody here to get open. Breaks the guy. Gets across the 10-yard line with the first down. The DBs, man, the secondary, doing pretty good. And he can't get the first, can't get the comebacker there. Star gets the touchdown. Purcell, nice job. Gets it there. And two-point conversion is good. So Eastern Michigan is going to get the ball here. And again, the defense still has not stopped a single person this whole entire year at all. Not one drive have they stopped it on. So 26 seconds left to go. Let's see if this return it gets them pretty close. they got to get a few yards here to get into field goal range. Out of bounds. Nice play. Nice move there. And he's able to get through Norwood. First down. Okay, they got to get a quick out. Find the right play. Playing soft on him. Okay. And they don't like that one. They don't like that one. All right, so they opted not to go for anything. Big boot. Let's see if they can get enough leg on this one. Gets it in there. Nice kick. That's where they want it. 62-yarder. Got to get all of it. 14 to 11. Let's see. Here we go. Got to score quick. Give yourself some time in the fourth quarter. The defense is unreliable. And nice return there. Again, having a return man probably would have helped him earlier in the season. That's not great. That's not great. And he's able to get the deflection. That was nearly a massacre to start this half. Not what you want to see. Norwood's there. Oh, boy. This guy, the gambling man. Maven is gambling out here. Gain of three by Kuntz. These guys are trying to take too many chances when they actually have an opportunity to win a football game. All right. Breaks free. Gets a gain of four. 50-yard line. Third down and three. Coming up. Scrambles again. Again, he doesn't like what he sees. Eastern Michigan secondary is locking down these players. And, you know, if you're not able to – and he's tackled for a loss in that screen. Again, it's why the running lanes are there. Because they don't like what they see. Except this time, they break it free. Gain of 11 is going to be third down in inches. Nice opportunity. Way to split the defenders. Slides in there for a first down. 30 seconds to go here in the third quarter. They still they want to score. Norwood gets a little bit of room. Excellent job. 17, 16 seconds left to go. Linebackers are stacked in the middle. And he gets out to the 13-yard line. Last play of the third quarter coming up. 
Any sack, not what you want to do on second and four. Braid's there in the middle of the seam. He's able to get that 18-yard touchdown. First play of the fourth quarter. Big time opportunity. And dives in for the two-point conversion. 19 to 14. So what's going to happen is they're going to take it all the way down. And they stop him. So the Oregon needs a field goal to win this game. That is the big opportunity, that field goal at the end of half. That's, again, you can blame, bring it the special teams opportunities. So minute five seconds. Got to be careful here. Take your opportunities. And that's a negative. That's not what you want. That is not what you want at all. And Kuntz breaking free. Out of bounds. Okay, saves the timeout there. Again... Offensive line doing some things. And a first down out of bounds as well. Norwood, Amari Norwood. Moving along, moving along. Trying to get the walk-off field goal. Again, last year this would be pretty much an impossibility, right, to even have this opportunity with no kicker. So this time they have a kicker that can has a leg, and it's in good conditions right now. So that is the key, and they're going to kick the field goal right here, right now, I think. The kick is up. It's straight. It's long. It's good. The game is over. Oregon with the game winner at the buzzer. 22 to 20. Gets another victory. Moves in. Just like the second quarter, they get 11 in the fourth quarter. They move 4 and 3 on the season. And again, the defense is not helping him one bit at all, except on these extra points, the special teams. Getting it done. Stadium declines. Texas State is coming up next. And another out-of-conference game. But we'll see you guys in week nine.